Okay, and now we can continue with the final part of this level. Kill all those. Um, <sighs> bell ringing, <laughs> the bell ringing one rings to sense the bell like yet again. Uh, so we've got these guys here. These are the same as the um, the guys in that thing. You know what I mean? But if you can time these right, you get some nice easy viscerals on them. This guy just dodged the flames. I do like quite a lot of damage now with our weapon though. They're not gonna be that hard to take down. down here. Never really check all these, this, but I think there's one over here. Ah, some more lovely chunks. I don't think there's anything here though. It's just a drop. Yeah. Uh, and up here we've got some a baby and we've got some pigs. This guy's just waiting for us here, not doing anything, just hanging around. Ready to get this rolled. I like the game world just being like sliced. Uh, so you can either go two ways for this, you can go across the top, which, um... We're gonna try and go through first. Ideally, you just want to get one of these pigs to try and charge you down, but... Just pull it out. Oh, God. Oh, but yeah, definitely don't want to get caught by them because they can kill you pretty easily. Oh, shit. Some screams. <laughs> but yeah. Just wait for them to do an attack and then just circle around them. It's the it's the charges you gotta watch out for. Trying to dodge these and not get hit. I think that's it. I'm dead. Fuck. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Oh, this guy's got all my uh, blood echoes. Whoa, oh, no visceral. Fuck you. Come on, you'll do. Where we want you. What is this a one hour? Come back. Oh, 
trying to get a bloody backstab on him. Fuck off. Uh, two more King Cold Bloods. No, I still lose any items. Yeah, I missed some items down here. And that bow ringer. Um, so yeah, I think that's all the items on the, the top level. There are some uh, some guys at the end. We can take that. Yeah, let's take them out now. And then we'll see about the other side. So again, these aren't too bad. They're just the, uh, I'm going to leave them. Uh, so that's the top side. Um, it, it can be a bit of a pain, but there's some cob, king cobblets there for some, uh, blood echoes. Um, so, or you can just go down. That is it. Uh, this side. Drop down here. Get some more chunks if you needed those. And then we've got the, the bell ringer woman around here. So yeah, just jump in, take her out. Try not to die, but <sighs> just trying to read that then. The bell ringing woman left, and the bell ceases. Right behind that wall. Wait, yeah, you just got two of these guys here. Just um, if you get in trouble, just run out. I'll read your name, but thank you very much for the like, man. Hope you're enjoying this stuff. I'm getting extremely frustrated with it tonight. But it's all good. I've died so many times in this area. This is usually like, probably not the least, but one of the ones I don't have that much trouble with. And then we've just got these two guys left up here. Okay, nice. So that's like the top area cleared. Don't think there's any other items. Actually, yeah, there is. There's one more item. And a spooky presence. But we'll get to her in a bit. Sefka's a blood vial. I'm just like, has she got the same dress on as you said as your Sefka? Probably not as big. She's got a similar dress on. I'll just send that down. <laughs> send that. Oh, I was like then. That just takes it back to, to the middle floor. <laughs> I don't 
don't know why. Collars with their cage helmets on. Um, I'm just gonna make sure I've got some. I've got some bolt. Okay, this fight can be. Re well, it is really easy actually. Let's just get into it. Okay, it depends on what um, what weapon you got, I guess. Would it even matter? You can just uh, I think the easiest way is to try and um, get around the back of her, kind of like bait out an attack, and get behind. But she can still hit you when you're. Behind. But the safest way to do it is just not get hit. Probably shouldn't have buffed up. Alright, when she does this, just run around the outside. It's not even like the bad one. I think this one's just her. Here we go. Now we're getting the uh, the all coming out from the side. She gained some health back. That one can hit you. But yeah, she's not too hard. Like, if she, um... <laughs> Third umbilical cord. When she, um... Yeah, when she goes into the Shadow Realm, like, I, I did this last time where, like, if you're behind her, she just kind of travels attacking, so if you stay behind her, you can keep attacking her. It kind of ends the fight really quickly. But that only works sometimes. The safest way is just to run around the outside.
Um, but yeah, if you're facing in front of her, if you've got a long range weapon, you can just do jumping attacks after she attacks. Get the counter with that or get a few hits in and then roll back, roll back out. Or you can try and get her back or, and dodge through some of the side attacks. Uh, but yeah, that was Mergo, the wet nurse. She was pretty easy. And now we're back at the hunter's dream. Uh, the house is on fire. You can still use everything in this area. Actually, I, I don't know if I talked about this. I must have talked about this before. A little bowl down here. Yeah, because we put the hats on the stump messenger. So you still, so you still change your ruins, upgrade your weapons. Like as you get badges throughout the game, you can get new weapons from this area. Yeah, you got all these guns as well. All these um, outfits that you can buy. You can get like Kanehurst armor. Um, and you can uh, acquire materials as well. Upgrade materials, bloodstone shard, twin stone, bloodstone shards. Um, and you can get the like of ones from the top bowl by spending your insight. So let's go back to... Because uh, this is the end game. Once we get here, there's only one thing left to do. And that's to kill the final boss. And then once you do that, the game auto resets. It takes you into new game plus automatically. So before you take on the last boss, make sure you finished up everything that you wanted to in the game. That includes the DLC as well. So if you've got DLC that you wanna that you wanted to do um, for that kind of level, um, then do it before you go take on the boss. And that's what I'm gonna do in this playthrough uh, because uh, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, and the DLC stuff, it scales a lot higher than the main game, so it's like the next level up. It is pretty hard. The, some of the bosses in there are ridiculous. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this as well, but these two episodes here are for Chalice Dungeons. So these are uh, optional areas of the game. Uh, we've got a load of materials throughout the game, um, so we can summon them. But if we go to the first one... Okay, not the first one. If we go to the second one... The first uh, ritual altar. Use the ritual altar to create a chalice dungeon with a chalice ritual or to search for chalice dungeons created by hunters in other worlds. Um, you can do your own chalice dungeon, chalice dungeon search, or search by chalice glyphs. So you can share chalice dungeons with your friends, use the code, and do go into their chalice dungeons. Or you can do your own. So we've got the Thumerian chalice. Um, we've missed one into Tomb Chalice. So it doesn't drop in the base game, it drops um, in the Thumerian Chalice Dungeon. So you can create one of these. There's a, like next to the Chalice, there's some, uh, some information such as how many depths it has, the area, how many blood echoes it costs, and how many materials it costs to use those. Uh, we've got enough so we could summon this dungeon. Uh, but yeah, Hinter Tombs is inside that dungeon you picked up from there. Um, but also, as you go through these, at the end of them, you pick up new chalices um, with more levels, uh, more material requirements, and you keep going down, and you get higher uh, runes, higher level runes from those. Uh, so I was working on this on one of my playthroughs. The thing with chalice dungeons as well, like once you've, they, they don't increase in difficulty with new game plus, they increase in difficulty by levels. Uh, that you are, so you can like get like halfway through these chalice dungeons, go into new game plus, and then they will still be there at the same level. So chalice dungeons you don't need to worry about. You can come back to them at any time. Although if you're currently can, gonna continue to carry on with this game, then it is recommended to do the chalice dungeons because you get a higher level uh, attack gems, which can come in useful. You can also get like different versions of the weapons with different slots in them. So you can make some pretty customized uh, weapon sets with those. Um, and they're randomly generated as well. Um, anyway, we're going to head back to Cathedral Ward. See what's going on there. Okay, so we have the Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter. So... Um, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, before I take on the final bosses, I am going to take on the DLC, which is going to be a little bit harder than this. I might actually need to put some levels into health and stamina. 
Um, but if you've always come across this, uh, you're probably going to know this by now anyway, but always wondered what this was. We can see the hand coming down. And we get grabbed by this amygdala. Cursed Daphines, their children too. And their children forever true. You'll have to wait till next time. Thank you very much for watching these videos. If you've got any feedback, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and hopefully see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.